I'm showing you how to change stick mode for radio link transmitter TAS from mode 2 to mode 1. As you can see that I've taken off the back cover from the transmitter already. Firstly, remove the screws from the tension plate. Then take off the plate. And then remove the throttle stick spring retainer on the other joystick with a tweezer, including a spring and a hook. The spring first, and then the plastic hook. You can see that the plastic hook is like this and reinstall the plastic hook on the other joystick. When the hook is done, we need to insert the spring inside as well. It could be time consuming. Please be a bit patient. Or you can lift this part a little bit to make it stable and it will be easier to install the spring. Now the joystick is set as auto centered. Then we locate the tension plate on the other joystick. You can adjust the tightness according to your habit. So you can see the mode has been physically changed. Throttle on left and throttle throttle on left to throttle on right. After all the accessories are well installed, it's also very important to calibrate the joysticks. Make sure that both joysticks are centered first. Press the first trimmer button at left and power on the TAS at the same time. When the LED indicators on TAS are flashing quickly, it means that TAS is ready to be calibrated. Then toggle both joysticks to all directions respectively to make the servo range identified by the transmitter. Then toggle both joysticks to the central point again and press the second trimmer button from left leftist. We can see that the LED indicators are always on, meaning that the joystick calibration is done. After the calibration, we need to modify the data in the software. Though in this video, we connect the TAS to Android Mobile with an OTG and an USB cable. The current connection of all ladies TAS are connected with Bluetooth. As it was mode two, when toggle the left stick, we can see the servo range of channel three is still moving. So we need to go to the system menu, then change the stick mode from two to one. Don't, don't forget to click right to make sure the modified data is well input into the TAS. Then we can see, test again. When we toggle the joystick on the right, we can see the servo range of channel three is moving. And now we can, say that the, we can say that the mode of this TAS is changed successfully. At last, don't forget to reinstall the back cover.